everyone, my name is Demi. For today's video, I'm going to talk all about homeschooling. Actually, not all about. It's just why I wanted to homeschool my children and my personal pros of homeschooling. And yeah, if you're looking for the homeschooling providers, how much does homeschooling in the Philippines cost, or the types of homeschooling, I can just exit this video. I'm not here to talk about that because I'm not yet well read on that certain part of homeschooling. I'm just here to talk about personally why I want to homeschool my children. So, as you all know, Ellie, <clears throat> may problema pa sis. As you all know, Ellie, my firstborn, uh, we were very clingy with each other. Tapos, well, first time mommy, eh, talaga clingy ka. So, Ellie was not yet even two when I started homeschooling or started teaching her. Kasi our first school naman talaga is at home and our first teacher is our mother. So, Ellie was not yet even two when I started teaching her. Siyempre, the basics lang. The colors, the animal sound, the numbers, the letters. Can you get letter A, please? Oh! Yes! Being a clingy mom nga, kasi nga we're breastfeeding and pa. So being a clingy mom, parang I was not prepared for when she goes to school. Kasi parang, parang, ano eh, nandun yung bond namin sa isa't isa na parang pag nag school na siya, parang feeling ko mawawala yung bond namin. Siguro ganun. Pero, that's that's one of the reasons why I wanted to homeschool her. Nung time na yun, wala pang one or siguro kaka-one niya lang. I did some personal research kung paano ba siya, paano ba ginagawa yun, does it work, is, is it DepEd accredited, mga ganun. Parang nabasa ko somewhere na if you ever homeschool your children, one has to be a stay-at-home parent or at least yung tutukan sila para maging, um, may tawag sila doon eh. May, anyway, hindi ko mahanap. Siguro pag na-research ko, ilalagay ko lang yung term here, pero may tawag doon eh. So, so, I read about it na pag ganong age nga, kasi nga wala pang kinder sale, kailangan ng, yun, may parent na tutok for the homeschooling. So, parang doon pa lang sa part na yun, I got discouraged na kasi both of us are working, tapos we're paying amortization for the car, and we haven't built up that much savings yet, kaya hindi pwedeng one of us would stop working kasi ang homeschooling, tuloy-tuloy yun. So, parang pag may isa sa amin na nag-quit ng work, okay pa naman yung finances. Pero, it will parang mapupull down yung finances namin if one of us quits work. Tapos, nung time pa na yun, I was working in BGC. So, parang nagdagdag na nagdagdag yung reasons why it was close to impossible for us to homeschool. So, medyo binrush off ko na yung idea kasi parang nga, parang imposible, parang hindi siya mangyayari. Pero parang, I, I just prayed to God na sabi ko, Lord, baka naman pagdating ng five na si Ellie, um, we're better we're better off, mas okay na yung finances namin, baka mayroon na sa amin na nag-work ng mas malapit sa bahay, or baka may iba na kaming sources of income na masusustain na yung family namin. Parang I just prayed for it na bigay, ibigay siya ni Lord sa family namin para kasi kasi parang gusto ko talaga siyang gawin eh. Nararamdaman ko nung time na yun na oh my gosh, why am I emotional? Nararamdaman ko talaga na parang I was made to be a mom. So parang gusto ko to. Parang I, I will go all the way for my children. Kaya gusto ko talaga silang i-homeschool. After noon, medyo bin rush off ko na nga siya pero I, st I was still praying for it. Nabuntis naman ako kay Lily. So, Lily's pregnancy was also unexpected. Pero, syempre, it's a gift from God. It's a blessing from God. So, dun ko naisip na mas, mas lalong imposible. Mas lalong mahirap. Kasi nga, at the time, I was still working in BGC Makati nung when I gave birth to Lily. Tapos, I was, again, I was pumping, breastfeeding, so lagi akong puyat na narealize ko having two kids is very handful. So, parang sabi ko, baka hindi talaga meant for me, baka, baka ayaw talaga ni Lord, baka it's God's way of telling me na 
uh, homeschool is not for you, just send your kids to regular school. Yun yung naisip ko back then. Tapos, 2019, oh, Lily was two years old nun. Si ate, I just turned four nung June 2019. So, we were supposed to send her to regular school as, uh, I think, nursery or kinder one. Parang ganun yung term nung school. I'm not sure, but, but it's not the official kinder that DepEd is required. Like, it's a K to 12. We were supposed to send her to school, but something happened na medyo personal reason. So, we decided not to let her go to school that year. So, last year lang yun. Um, but we decided to let her go to Kumon instead. So, Kumon is uh, independent learning. Parang it teaches your child how to learn independently. So, two times a week, they go to the Kumon Center, the learning center itself. And then there are teachers there that would teach them one-on-one. -on -one. And then, after each session, they will bring home a worksheet for the rest of the days that they will not be going to the learning center for parents naman to guide the children kung paano gawin. So, Ellie took up reading. Siguro, wala pa namang, wala pang one year, siguro months na. Na learn na niya how to write, how to write her name, how to read na na learn na niya yon. Nung nung time na din na yon, syempre pag nasa bahay, tas wala kaming work. Wala rin yung nag-aalaga sa kanila. We are the ones who teach her the common on the weekend or on or on the rest day. So, nung time na yon, medyo nag ano kami ni Ellie minsan naggagalit siya or minsan naggagalit ako kasi hindi niya makuha. So parang I I really thought na parang ah, baka talagang hindi talaga for us yung homeschooling kasi common pa nga lang hindi na namin kaya. Paano pa pag dumag na yung, dumagdag na yung mga science, yung mga araling panlipunan na subject. So yun, tuloy-tuloy lang siyang nag-common until this pandemic happened. So it's 2020 na. She stopped you going to common na syempre nung mga March kasi Diyan na yung mga quarantine, ganyan. So, ay, parang ang assumption kasi namin after the summer, tapos na rin yung quarantine. So, everything will be normal by June. But, we're now in June and it's not normal. And, hindi rin alam ng mga tao or ng government or ng DepEd or ng schools themselves kung kailan mag-open ng school year this year. So, parang ako, oh my gosh, parang... Lord, ito na ba yun? Ito na ba yung, ito na ba yung binigay, mo rin, binigay mo rin after all yung pinagpa-pray ko years ago? Parang, ang ano, parang, ano ba? <laughs> Why am I so emotional shit? Um, Na-appreciate ko. So, kung nga, kung nga naghahanap kayo ng parang paano ba mag-homeschool, magkano ba ang homeschool, ano-ano ba ang types ng homeschool, I'm not the person to ask because I'm not well read. Kasi nga, for the past ilang years, I'm brushing off the the idea of us homeschooling. Kasi wala eh, parang impossible until this pandemic happened. So this pandemic is kind of like a blessing in disguise, I guess. I guess for us, kasi this year also I got a job na mas malapit sa bahay. So I'm really, really, really blessed this year. So, kung yung iba, makikita nila yung year na to as parang um, everything is going crazy, this year, I think, is a blessing for our family. Kasi, I got a job na malapit, better paying. Hindi ko naman sinasabing blessing to talaga na, kasi not to be insensitive for those that are not able. Pero, binigay ni Lord yung hinihingi ko na matagal na, na be able to homeschool my children. So, parang, ba? Parang, I'm seeing the silver lining, kumbaga, of the pandemic that's happening. Bakit nga ba? Why did I want to to homeschool Ellie or my children? Sige, silang dalawa kahit yung isang makulit. One of the advantages kasi that I can see in homeschooling is being flexible. Ellie kasi, napansin ko, growing up, hindi siya yung normal na bata na tulog na by seven, Tapos, by 8 a.m. gising na hindi siya ganon. Siguro, partly kasi hindi din kami ganon na parents niya. Even if, yun, ngayon, na meron na tayong new normal and both me and my husband wakes up at 6 a.m. and then we're asleep at around 8 p.m. They don't follow that schedule eh. So, parang naisip ko na hindi talaga siya early riser. Baka yun na yung body clock niya. Baka, 
baka yung yun yung time that works for her. So, maganda na homeschooling kasi at least flexible. Kung anong oras man siya magising, tas kung anong oras man siya gumawa ng activity sheets niya, at least it's on her own time and on her own pace. And also, um, learning is not limited on the four walls of the classroom. Parang ginagawa namin pagka nung wala pang pandemic, when we go to grocery, Mama, what does carrot mean? What, what is ganyan? Lagi siyang she has lots of questions. Actually, even nung nagkukumon siya, what is a joint? What's a bone? What's ganyan? Lagi siyang ganon. So, we have more of that time na tinatanong niya kami. So, when she asks questions, she's curious. She wants to learn. And also, pag nag-homeschool siya, syempre hindi siya ma-i-influence ng classmates, teachers. What I mean by influence is yung opinion niya or attitude niya kasi minsan it's not by nature to a person na maging yung bad attitude hindi siya in nature sa tao minsan na influence siya ng ibang tao so if they're homeschooled sinong mag-influence sa kanya syempre ako so kung paano ako sa kanya ganun din siya mag- ma-implement siya siyang maging ganun though alam ko meron naman tayong GMRC sa school pero does it really help na maging good manner din tao. Nasa tao yun eh. At nasa influence yun nung, nung mga tao around that person. So, in the real world, hindi naman natuturo ang good manners eh. Pero if you're influenced by someone who has the good manners, you will have a good manners also. Kasi parang sa mo naman makikita na okay lang maging ganun, di ba? Speaking of influence, pag homeschool kasi, walang bully. So, syempre, saan ba tayo nabubuli? Syempre, madalas sa school, di ba? Ako kasi, nung bata ako, ano, ah, anak araw, ganyan, maput- maputi. Oh, syempre, maputi, anak araw, ganyan, ganyan, anak araw. Tapos yung apelido ko, di ba, Villain Reva. Tapos pangalan ko, Devi. Ah, Devil, Devil, ganyan. Yun yung mga words na, okay, right now, na matanda na ako, it doesn't hurt. Pero nung bata ako, I don't know if it did hurt me, pero parang wala na sa akin ngayon. Pero what if my child has uh, ibang mental health than mine? So, baka it would affect her differently than me. So, parang, di ba, at least sa bahay, walang mabubuli sa kanya. Siguro kapatid niya ibubuli. <laughs> De, pero, at least sa bahay, walang, walang mabubuli sa kanya. So, parang, it would boost her confidence. I've heard a lot of people na homeschooled sila. May narinig ako stories, pero hindi sila yung parang walang social life, na shy type, ganyan. Actually, mas confident nga sila eh. You know why? Kasi wala nang bullies. Kasi yung bullies, they, they take our self-confidence and self-esteem away from us. So parang, di ba, kung sa bahay sila, dahil nga walang mabubuli sa kanila, mas confident sila sa life nila. And also, they have more time to do what they really like. Si Ellie ngayon, napapansin ko, she likes, she really likes drawing. She draws a lot of stuff talaga. Pag binigyan mo siya ng papel, mabukuno niya yun ng drawing of me, of a flower, of ano. Tapos walang tuturo sa kanya. Imagine kung nasa bahay siya or kung sa bahay siya nagsa-school, she'll have more time to do what she really loves. Parang mas more time siya sa, sa self-development, self-awareness, kung ano bang gusto niyang maging. So it will help her to choose what her course will be when sh- she goes to college. Also, it's one of the pros of homeschooling is knowing your child more. Yun nga, nakwento ko. Siyempre kasi pandemic, so nasa bahay din ako. Kasi lockdown. Pero it helped me realize more kung ano yung personality ng mga bata. Kasi they have de- very diverse na personality both of them. Pero nakikita ko kung ano yung personality ni ate, kung ano yung personality ni Lily. It would be hard for us to know, to really know our children kung sa school sila rather than where they, when they are homeschooled. Also, homeschooling gives the child less pressure to conform. So, paano ba yun? Minsan kasi, di ba, pag nagbibigay ng test paper, si, I don't know, 49 over 50, kasi si ikaw makita mo 23 over 50 ka lang. So, parang na, yung iba, it's good for them kasi nacha-challenge sila eh, na, ay, kaya ko pa, si siya nga naka-49, kaya ko rin mag-49. Yung iba, pero not all child are the same. Yung iba, mas panghihinaan ng loob. So, when you're homeschooled, wala ka. Si, wala kang someone to compare yourself with. So, parang, oh, yung galing ko ngayon. O, oh, sige, next time, dapat mas mataas na ako. So, ang 
ikukumpara mo yung sarili mo sa past self mo. Parang gano'n. This time, I I scored 23 over 50. So, I need to brush up more on this. Ganyan, ganyan. So, next next time, I have to get 40 out of 50. Kasi nga, parang mas nade-develop yung self-awareness niya. Hindi yung ingit or kum comparison sa classmates niya. So, yon. And what are the cons naman of homeschooling? One of the cons that I think homeschooling has is yun nga, napaka-tedious niya for the parents. Especially for the first years. Kasi yun nga, hindi pa sila marunong magbasa, hindi pa rin sila marunong mag-add, hindi pa sila marunong gumets ng instruction. So, kailangan mo pa silang i-guide papunta doon. Pero I think it will be worth it in the long run kasi they are gonna be independent learners naman in the long run. Pag marunong na sila magbasa, marunong na umintin din ang instructions, diba? So, parang ano lang yan, parang baby led winning. Sa umpisa, tedious, pero in the long run, kaya independent na sila, diba? Tapos, um, one of the cons that I read up was yun nga, yung social skills. It's not really being develop that much. Kasi nga, pag sa school ka, you're 30, 40 in the class. So, so parang, ang dami nyo, ang daming chance to socialize, ang daming chance to meet your friends. Your f future friends, just like the friends I have now, my high school friends. Yun yung magiging problem. Parang the community that you build around your children when they're homeschooled. Kasi nga, ang nakita lang nilang adult figure is ikaw as the homeschooling parent. It's debatable kasi nga, pag homeschool ka, walang bully. So, it builds up your confidence. So, when the time comes na may meet kang other people, other person, you'll be confident to talk to them. Kasi nga, it, homeschooling build your confidence already. So, I think it's debatable. Those are my reasons why I wanted to homeschool my children. Kayo, what do you want for your children for this school year? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Also, hit the bell button beside it to be notified for new uploads. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!